Hey everyone, it is Fahrenheit4051 here with a fantastic new product. Actually, this is a pretty old product. This is a Kitta Gemini. This is not just a fire alarm panel, and it's not just a suppression panel. This is actually two-in-one. And what I mean by that is that we have two general fire alarm circuits up here, and we have two suppression releasing circuits here. So this is zone 1 on the suppression board, and this is zone 2 on the suppression board, terminals 10 and 13. We can run through three scenarios right now. So the first one is a general fire alarm. I'm going to be using this jumper to just short out the terminals because I didn't feel like wiring three separate initiating devices up. I'm just going to show you how this works. So we're going to cause a general fire alarm. Maybe this is their monthly fire drill in this tiny office complex. <laughs> to silence the system. That switch is a little sensitive. Now we're going to reset. We'll let everyone back inside. So now, scenario two. A fire alarm comes in from the server room, and that is protected by the suppression system. Maybe this is an old panel, so maybe it's Halon. Maybe they took out the Halon and put in an FM200 system. So we are actually going to activate the first alarm here by shorting terminals 13 and 10. And now you could hear that the system sensor MA1224 was also sounding. We're going to leave that in alarm actually. So. Let's say that was an accidental activation. Maybe a detector under the floor got dirty. The fire department's still on its way, but it turned out to be a false alarm. So we're going to reset the system. Now we're going to run through the worst case scenario. Let's say the fire started above the floor. We're going to activate zone one on the suppression control. And I'm just going to silence that so I can keep talking. Now the fire's gotten a little bigger, and it actually melted through one of the tiles, one of the floor tiles, and it's now spread to under the floor. So now we're going to short the second zone with the first zone still in alarm. So as you can see here, the countdown has actually begun. So we're counting down to an actual agent release. This is happening in the middle of the night. People might be on their way. So now, now we have our Halon dump or our FM200 dump. Chemicals have been released. There's thousands of dollars worth of damage. It is not a good day for this small business. They get there. The place is burning up. They extinguish the fire in the server room. They're able to reset the system. There's a bunch of troubles because a bunch of resistors got melted out. Okay, I'm just I'm just playing around. But <laughs> the troubles are because I didn't bother to... Uh, I haven't ordered resistors yet. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you learned something today. And until next time, this is Fahrenheit4051, signing out.